Most of my projects start off with a problem. The problem might be simple, it might be complex. It might start out simple and then end up complex. I got it! <laughs> this is today's problem. My silicone soap dish. It's disgusting, I know. It's just not a good design. This doesn't allow my bar of soap to dry thoroughly. The bottom of the soap that touches the silicone is always wet and soft. As I was Googling soap dishes, I came across this silicone mold for 10 bucks. This looks like it just might solve my problem and it'll be a fun DIY epoxy project as well. This week, I made five soap dishes. I only needed one, so I got a little carried away. <laughs> But they were a lot of fun. They're fast to make. You can be really creative with them. They make great gifts, or you can even sell them on the side. This here was my first attempt. I did get a little heavy handed on the glitter and it tends to collect at the bottom of the mold. I got better on the second one. This one's a little more simple. I just used some gold mica powder mixed with the epoxy. This blue one is my favorite of the three. I used some mica powder on this one as well. For the fourth soap dish, I thought it would be a fun idea to place hardware and other items inside the clear epoxy. I love the concept, but I did make a mistake on the execution. When I was placing objects into the mold, I pushed them in too hard and when it dried, there was a bulge. It's still usable, but not perfect. I tried a fifth soap dish, carefully placing 32 interesting items inside. Some are personal, like a 20 year pin I got from the company where I work and my Alley Picked logo at the top. After I made the soap dish with the personal items in it, it got me to think, you might have some small items that belong to a loved one or maybe even a pet that passed away, like the name tag on their collar. You can put these items into some clear epoxy in your own soap dish. It's a nice way to keep them in your memories. Now, let me show you how I made these. I'm using a two-part tabletop epoxy. You don't need to buy a gallon of it. It comes in much smaller amounts. The mold I'm using requires 200 milliliters or just under seven ounces of epoxy. That's three and a half ounces of part A and three and a half ounces of part B. On my first soap dish, I forgot the volume that I needed. I ended up mixing up twice the amount required. So instead of wasting it, I made some coasters out of it. I'm gonna add some yellow ink to the epoxy. So as you can see, you can make these any color you want. I also had this silver flake that I picked up. So just for fun, I'm throwing that in as well. I also have a tube of these large silver glitter pieces. I'll try it. This is all experimental, so I'm not sure what it's gonna come out like. Let's just have some fun. In less than 12 hours, I was able to remove it from the mold, which of course is reusable. On the second soap dish, I decided to color it using one of the many mica powder samples that I got from Upstart Epoxy. You can find these and other brands on Amazon. I'm using a gold color. The gold was nice, but since my favorite color is blue, I had to make one of those as well. The bottom of the soap dish, which is the top of the mold, has a little lip that can be easily sanded off. Now I'm just using a little of my Slip and Shine product to soften the scratches. Here's an optional modification you can make. I took three of these stick-on rubber furniture bumpers and placed them inside the dish. This way it'll keep more air under the soap. I think these are gonna work out perfectly. By the way, if you wanna order some great natural soaps for your soap dish, check out Big Bear Naturals, a small family-owned business at simpletoncreation.com.